In this exercise, we need to create a script that will concatenate uh, two lines. So let's uh, switch to the editor and let's uh, make a copy of the calc PL. Let's call it uh, concatenation con PL and then open it that file. So at least I can get rid of all these lines. That's nice. Now I can uh, ask uh, the user to print um, string 1, ok, so I don't have any really good idea what I'm asking the user here. So I would just uh, string 1 and then uh, I accept that string 1 into a standard input, from the standard input, stdin. Then I can ask uh, again the user for print str2 and then my str2 okay this should be str1 here oh, right and then i am reading from stdin again and then i can concatenate so let's uh, let's now try to do that uh, and put it in the str the result and then str1 concatenated with str2 right and then I can print out the result, which is str, and uh, that's it. So let's see how does it work if I can run now. So I run it prol con pl, and then I type in abc and def, and it concatenates these two strings. Uh, but we, as you can see, there is a new line after the c because we haven't jumped off the new line. So again. Yeah, as in the calculator, we can pro we probably want to do this. Uh, obviously, this depends on your application. So probably you want to uh, do the jump here and uh, do the jump here as well, right? And then maybe here instead of just printing, uh, we would use the say. So it will add a new line at the end, right? And then I can type in ABC and DF, and it concatenated the two, it uh, printed in S1 string. And in order to see it even better, we, we might want to add some kind of a mark around it, let's say this one. Uh, but then, of course, we have to put it in quotations, otherwise, Perl won't understand what are those signs there, or maybe it will understand it, but not what you meant. So, and then I put here summers, three letters, and uh, that's it. Now it's obvious what's in within that string, so it's clearer. It's very useful to put something around values when you're printing them out. Otherwise, you might miss a new line at the end or some spaces and so on. Let's just have a look at an example. So, what happens if I type in a space at the beginning and then here also? So now you can see it without, if, if I didn't have the, the signs around that, it would just print out and it wouldn't be obvious, especially the one at the end, because maybe at the beginning it would be clear that there is something, maybe it wouldn't be clear what's there and why is it indented. So that's, that's useful.